Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another reaction to a song, well, a thing that I have heard before, but it's been a while. Uh, the algorithm said, hey Brad, do you remember this from 2013? And I was like, ooh, maybe. But I don't think I heard it then, but I think I heard it after that. So it's been, had some legs. So... Let's uh, let's check this guy out. He, uh, if I remember correctly, it's some really cool use of delay and reverb, and uh, and just some really cool technique. So let's let's uh, jump in and and watch it uh, while I become devastatingly annoyed with this fly.
trance bass there. What I can tell you, sorry, I've got an itchy ear right now. It's my my skin stuff acting up. Um, it's getting better, but it's still acting up. Anyway, um, what what he was doing there is riding the delay wave, and basically your delay. You can set it to be a certain interval, which gives you a tempo. And so then you use your previous self as your, as your anchor to build chords, to build rhythm, to build er the rest of everything else off of. And you've only got a bink, 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 bink. So maybe five, six, seven, or eight things so that might be two bars or that might be one uh measure of of eight eight or four four you know um eight eight yeah hi my name's brad and i'm a music guy um but anyway yeah yeah that's what he was doing, and he did it really well. Pink Floyd was also, you know, masters. The uh, Gilmore, David Gilmore, the the um, the guitarist, super good at riding the delay wave. I mean, just and going off into the stratosphere with it, just like that guy did. Man, I, the chord pattern that he was doing, um, you know, it was really working. Uh, covered the whole neck, covered, you know, all four strings. Uh, one noticeable mistake that was quickly corrected, uh, just, you know, one, one fret up from where he wanted to be. And um, he corrected it. And everything else was faded so well that if, I, if there were other mistakes, he did such a good job of fading them, you know, of, you know, keeping on going and and he probably hears a dozen mistakes in that i can tell you from experience but i only heard one and it was a that was phenomenal i remember hearing that back somebody sent me that and I wasn't really listening to much music at the time. And I was just like, is this what bass players are doing now? Holy crap. But anyway, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. So I will catch you in the next one. Peace.